but this guy is without doubt the greatest sprinter the world has ever seen we know this is going to be his last appearance at an Olympic Games and surely a hat trick of golds over the 100 meters would be a feat never to be repeated certainly not in lifetimes I was born to be an athlete. I think it was just my moment and I was always going to do great. I want to be remembered among the great athletes in the world. I want people to talk about me when they talk about Muhammad Ali and Pele and all these guys. He's a mortal now! All the way from Beijing to London and now to Rio. It is one of the greatest athletic achievements of all time. When you say Bolt win the race, the whole world feel like them win a race. That I can't explain. Number one all day, every day. Remember that. Yeah, when you wake up and you feel like a million dollars and you remember that you're your Olympic three time one and be the champion. It's a good feeling. <laughs> Two more to go, baby. Yeah. <laughs> You're from other countries and you're rooting for your country, but then you see Bolt and you're like, okay, I'm rooting for Bolt. Everyone wanted to see Bolt win, and that's something that, you know, just doesn't happen. No one knows what 9-5 feels like. No one knows what it is to run the big games, but for some reason when he steps on the line, you feel like you're running with him. I have no doubt that you'll have a faster runner than you see in Bolt in the future. But the world will always remember you see in Bolt. The last three Olympics have been amazing with Hussein. Um, and he really went out in style, you know, he, he's the best athlete who's ever lived by far. And he proved that again tonight. A youth who was born relatively poor in terms of economics, but was rich. Was rich with talent, rich with life, rich with substance. And to see somebody like that rise to win an Olympic gold medal, like, that's what the world needed. I found the drive and I was relentless in wanting to become the greatest. So for me, it's like, I found it, I did it. It took a lot of hard work and guts and focus and concentration. It's not easy, people feel like it's, it's, it's simple. And I had to remind myself that, listen to me, you have a goal for yourself and if you don't win this year, all that you have done doesn't really matter. And that's one of the things that kept me going. Running in lane four, it's Jamaica. Big up to you seeing, you know, definitely, you know, he's a legend. It was a great feeling being you know, his friend and his teammate. You know, we did it for him tonight, it was for him. You know, I think they should just give him the stadium, take it back to Jamaica or take it wherever he wants, you know. I mean, what else is there to give him? To come and do something like that, getting nine gold medals, that has been magical. He's up there with the big guys. He's sitting at the table. It's a dream of every coach to have a talented athlete and um, to have one as talented as Bolt is, is, is extra special. 
to see this child that you grew up with, this boy, influencing the world that he, the way he has, it's special. It gives you a sense of purpose, like you have contributed to something great. Because he ain't here trying to be political or evolutionary. His whole quest is to just make people smile. That's why the world responds to him so much. In a time when the world is in chaos, he's just all about smiling. In nine seconds, let's just put the world in a euphoric way. I've dedicated all my life to being the best and to being the best track and field person I can possibly be. Trying to be a legend, trying to be the greatest, trying to be unstoppable, trying to be undefeated. I've dedicated my life to this. If, if I was an emotional guy right now, I'd be crying for sure because it's, it's been such a long journey. And now for me, it's like, it's finally over. I'm sad, but I'm relieved that it's over. I've done it. I've done what I've set out to do in the sport. I'm just happy this part of this chapter is closed and I can just relax and just go on vacation, not worrying about anything, eat some junk food and just live.